Hold on to your hats, everyone. We're going to make this a beautiful design example. Okay, we're going to make it because we need to learn a couple of things. We need to learn under your layout elements here. Uh, the most important ones, container and section. So I'll show you how to do those. And I'm going to introduce you to this guy here, the navigator. He's super useful. All right, design brilliance, here we come. All right, first up, let's make a new site. If you haven't deleted your old one or yeah, make a new site, make a blank one to get started. Give it a name. Um, my one, remember, is called Adair Kayaks. Adair Kayak Club. There we go. Create a new site. So remember, this is our designer. We've been given one thing. It's this body. The body is everything you see on the canvas. Okay, currently it's white and there's nothing in it. If I preview my site, this member, this little eyeball, I got nothing. Okay, so click it again to come back out. So we're going to learn the two kind of most fundamental parts for building a website. Okay, we're going to click this little add button and under elements, we're going to look at sections and containers. We'll look at the rest of them later on, but these are the two main ones. So the container is generally, okay, this is very general. You have one per website and you stuff it full of different sections. What I mean by that is let's say that I add somewhere down here, I add some typography. If I add it here into my body, okay, it just hangs out. And it's kind of all the way over here on the left and you're like, oh, I want it to be in the middle like websites are. Okay, so I'm going to undo that using Command-Z on a Mac, Control-Z on a PC. Okay, so what you need to start with is not uh, hitting dump straight into the body. What you do is you say, actually, well, why can't I just put a section in? You kind of could. Uh, the problem with the section is, well, it has the same problem as the header. It'll span as far as it's allowed to, which is all the way to the edge of the body. Okay, so you don't start with a section. Okay, what you do is you start with a container. Okay, and you can see the container, ooh, it's got edges. Okay, so like, um, say the Sony site here, you know, it's just common now. You can expand to the edges, and I'll show you how to do that later on with a more complex website. But a lot of websites just hang out in the middle here and have this white space. It's just common. <laughs> it's not essential, um, but remember when websites were on the left? Anyway, so we've got this container. Okay, and it hangs out in the middle and inside of that container we add our sections. So what are sections? So sections are, let's look at Apple. So our website is broken into kind of unique sections. It's kind of a way of delineating information. You know, this is a navigation. It is a, the section called navigation. This is a section called charity. I'm guessing these. This is a section called MacBook Air, iPhone 3. 13. <laughs> okay, so these are different sections. Scroll to the bottom, there's a footer. Same with Sony. They've got a nav, they've got this carousel, they've got this, I don't want to call this, different business units. Okay, and down the bottom, a latest news and a footer. Okay, so those are different sections. So that's what you have uh, in Webflow. You'll end up with quite a few sections. So let's look at our kind of preview. So this is what we're building, right? Yours is going to look different, but there's a nav. There's what's called a hero section. There's going to be a sponsor section, a new event section, and then a past events. Within there, you can break it up. I'll show you how to do that using a grid. Okay, but you just have some like big things called sections. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip the navigation and just build the hero section. Uh, it's just easier to learn the hero section, and we'll do the nav a little later. So what did I do? I clicked on plus. I'm going to undo that. So clicked on plus and I drag my section into my container. You can kind of see where you drag it. If I drag it there, it's going to be underneath my container. Bad. So I'm going to undo, and I'm going to drag my section inside the container. The, remember, the section just kind of spread out as far as it could, but because it's inside the container, hey, it gets trapped in there. Let's have a preview. <laughs> Nothing much going on. Uh, let's have a look at adding something inside that section. So let's go plus, and let's add our heading. So grab the heading down here, click, hold, drag, drag, drag. And remember, you can kind of squeeze it in the section or underneath the section in the container or just out here in the body. It's not what I want. If you get it in the wrong place, you can just click, hold, and drag it and say, actually, go in there. There you go. So we've got our heading inside of our section. Let's add, well, we could keep adding different sections. We're just going to leave one at the, at the moment, the one we're calling hero, because I want to introduce you to something, two things. Uh, I've got my heading selected. So have your heading selected as well. Down the bottom here, can you see I have a heading that happens to be inside of a section that's inside of a container that's inside of my body. We are web designing, everybody. 
Okay, so these are the breadcrumbs kind of showing you where you are in the world, which can be handy. Say you want to select the container now, and you're like, I keep hitting the heading. You can say, actually, I want to click the container and give the container a background color, which is down here somewhere. Okay, backgrounds. So you could do that. They, these are handy. The other thing, and the, probably the thing you'll use the most, or at least I do, is I'm going to click on heading, is this thing here called the navigator. The navigator shows you similar to the breadcrumbs at the bottom, but it's got all this indentation, which is really useful. So my heading happens to be inside of a section, inside of my container, which is inside of the body. You will have one body 100% of the time. You will most likely have one container, and you'll have lots of different sections and lots of different headings. The navigator is handy for moving things around. Let's say I want to add another heading, or say a paragraph, and I add it here, and I'm like, here you go. But it ended up in the body, and you're like, huh. <laughs> you could drag it and try and get it under the heading, and it works. Uh, did it work? I'm going to undo. Let's say you can't do it. Okay, the navigator is really good for this. You can say, here he is. He's hanging out, kind of not in the right place. He's underneath the container. Okay, so you can say, actually, I want him up next to, you know, just underneath this heading. So you go drag him up, move him around. There we go. He's right underneath. He's inside the section, uh, hanging out with the heading. You can change the order. Watch this. You above there. There we go. So it's kind of a nice way of working kind of more with the code than it is the visual. The visual's great for loads of things. Sometimes it can be tricky though. That's why I introduced you to the navigator. Let's style this section just a little bit before we move on and look at styles properly. So you could, like, I want the background. Let's look at our preview. I want the background for this chunk here to have an image in it. I will do the image a little bit later on. For the moment, let's just fill it with a dark color so we can see the text. So this, you know, do I color the paragraph? You could, you could say paragraph here. I would like to have, scroll, so you should be at your styles option here. It's the kind of default one. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I'm using my mouse wheel. You can drag that. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of figuring out how to go up and down this thing. Okay, I use my little scroll wheel. You can drag the little slider at the side. So there it is there, backgrounds. I can say you, P tag, or paragraph tag, have a dark background. You're like, hmm, then you have to do it to the heading. Okay, so you want to often, with kind of like large styles like this, okay, I'm going to undo, which is Command-Z on a Mac, Control-C on a PC. You would like to do it to the, probably the section. I know that this heading thing here is a whole section that I want to be dark. So how do I select the hands up? Hands up, how do I select the section? Okay, you know there's two ways. Down here I can say you, section. Okay, remember the breadcrumbs? I clicked inside of it first, so it kind of knows where in the world you are. Okay, so I'm paragraph. And then I want the section to have a background color. There you go, so backgrounds, transparent. I'm just gonna use a dark gray for the moment and we'll change it later on to an image. There you go, you styled your section. You have just created the first bit of CSS. You didn't even know it. So we use the breadcrumbs to select it. You could, maybe if I click on my paragraph again, you're like, hey, the background color's gone. How do I click the section? The navigator panel's probably what I use the most. Okay, and you can say, not paragraph, click on him. And there you go, there's my color, which I can then click. And with this color picker here, if you're not used to them, you just kind of click anywhere in here once. I click and drag often, don't have to but just kind of find a color, okay? And to pick a different color, you can drag this hue slider, okay? If you want a dark blue, if you want a green, drag the slider to green and then kind of pick within the shades and saturation of the green. But I'm gonna go all the way over here, just pick a washed out gray. And then kind of just click off into here and we're done. All right, that is it. We've added a container, kind of keeps us from the edges and inside our first section. We're gonna add multiple sections to our one container and body is there to rule everybody. Sitting in the background, keeping everybody in the right place. All right, that's it. Basic structure, containers, sections. Let's get on to the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video. Uh, but not the end of the course. Uh, the video you just watched, um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.